Okay, it's a um, overcast day in Detroit and uh, a lot of talk about possible thunderstorms. So probably not the best day to be out uh, driving a convertible. So I may as well do a couple little minor modifications to it. So um, the car we're talking about here is a uh, 2017 Camaro. It's a 50th anniversary. So it's got the um, 50th anniversary badges and trim. And a lot of the uh, 50th anniversary trim um, is focused around uh, the color orange. Uh, if you go back to the 1967 Camaro, uh, the Indianapolis Pace Car uh, Camaro was a white Camaro with orange stripes. So what we've got here is what's called a nightfall gray metallic uh, convertible with some orange stripes. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to install some uh, custom bow ties uh, that I ordered for the car. And, and in keeping with that orange theme, what I've done is ordered the bow ties to have the uh, orange trim on the outside of the bow tie and then a carbon fiber that's pretty close to the uh, nightfall gray metallic on the inside. So here you can see the um, orange on the bow tie is the same as the orange on the brake calipers for the 50th anniversary that gets the uh, special orange brake calipers and then it also matches really closely to the orange in the stripes on the hood and on the trunk and on the spoiler so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pop off the standard chrome and yellowish chrome and gold badge and pop this badge on there and hopefully the, this will uh, look pretty cool with the uh, color, sch color scheme of the car. Okay so these are some of the tools that I'm going to need to um, make the modification. Um, I've got a uh, trim install tool that I'm going to use to pop off the uh, front uh, bow tie. I've got um, some fishing wire that I'm going to use to remove the rear bow tie and I've got some uh, just some paint masking tape to um, just protect the areas around where I'm working and of course scissors to cut the tape and here you can see the uh, two bow ties that I'm going to install uh, the front one on the top and the rear one on the bottom okay so I'm threading the um, fishing line behind the bow tie and just kind of flossing it. Now, I'm wearing gloves because this is a really thin gauge of fishing line and I would really like to not cut into my fingers. So you can see it, it moves along pretty good but it's going to take a little bit of time to get through it. The um, tape on this end of it is more to help me and I broke the line, I didn't think that could happen. Um, is more to help me with the alignment of the new bow tie when it gets in since I'm not really doing anything back here that's going to damage the paint. Probably be a little different story when I get up front and remove the front bow tie. So, back to flossing. Let's see if I can just pull it off. And there we go. So fairly easy removal of the rear bow tie. Now we just have to get some water and alcohol and clean off the excess cushion tape. Okay, now that we've got the uh, old emblem off the car and uh, cleaned up some of the um, uh, tape residue, we're going to go ahead and put the new emblem on the car. Uh, 
uh, they were nice enough to give an orientation arrow. So apparently it is sensitive uh, as to which side is up or down, but there's an up arrow here. So peel the backing off. This is where my um, alignment tape comes in handy. And also the outline from the original bow tie that came off. This tape is super sticky, super grabby, so you want to try and nail it on your first try. And then add sufficient pressure. Remove tape. And the back is done. Now let's go ahead and look at how we'll do the front. Okay, getting the front emblem off is a little more involved. Uh, some of the videos I've seen show going under the hood and uh, removing panels and that sort of thing. Um, but Glenn on Camaro6.com suggests that you can come behind here with an install tool and just kind of pop it off. So my install tool is a little too thick to get under there, so I've got a kitchen butter knife to kind of pop it open a little bit. Now I can get the tool in there, and that last skip with the tool is why that blue tape is there. I don't want tool marks on my car should I slip with one of these tools. So hopefully this bow tie can come off intact, but if it doesn't, well, I'm not sure what I would do with it anyway. Um, but there's like four snaps behind it. And if I can just get the tool in to pry them out, then I can have some progress. So this blue tape is here mainly to protect my paint from my tools. So I got my tool in there. And I think that was one snap. Two. Okay, so we're making some progress. We've got uh, a couple, I heard a couple of the snaps pop loose. And if I can get one or two on this side to pop loose, then I think we'll be golden. I don't want to put too much pressure because even though I got the tape there, I don't want to dent the uh, the lip of the fascia here. And maybe I'll just try and finger pry it a little bit. I'm not sure if that was a snap or if I actually broke the back of the bow tie. We'll find out in a minute, I think. And bow tie off. And what I did do was apparently I broke off that snap. But um, I'm not going to be too concerned about it because if I use it for anything else, I'll probably just grind these off and actually glue this onto something. So now we'll see about getting this front bow tie on. Okay, so we're going to position the new bow tie on the front of the car. The snaps align very well. Actually, I'm going to move this tape because it's getting in my way now and I don't need it. We'll align that. Give it a little pop. And there we go. So that's the new front end with the orange and carbon fiber bow tie.